with air fryers being such a big hit at the moment, it only seems fitting to try my best recipe in the air fryer. And trust me, you cannot tell the difference. Just to start with, here's a quick overview of my air fryer. It has two separate compartments with two customizable times and temperatures for each draw. Air fryers come in all different shapes and sizes, so this video is universal enough to fit everyone's air fryers. I will be using two different examples, a couple of tins, and I'm also going to be using the draw of the air fryer itself. So if you don't have any baking tins that fit inside of your air fryer, not to worry, we've got you covered. Let's go. So here's the ingredients, they are also in the description below, so go check them out there. To start with, we're going to line the tins. The first step with the brownies, we are going to melt the butter and the dark chocolate in a pan on a medium to low heat until the butter and chocolate is melted and mixed together. Once melted, leave the mixture to cool down. In a separate bowl, we're going to add the eggs and sugar and mix them together. Once the eggs and sugar are mixed together, you can add the flour and cocoa powder and then mix again. Once all this is combined together, you can then add the cooled down melted butter and chocolate and mix again. Once it's mixed again, you can then add the chocolate chips and mix again. Once it's all combined and the chocolate chips are spread out evenly, pour the mixture into the baking tins that you've got or if you've got no baking tins we're going to pour the mixture into the trays of the air fryer. Once it's all poured in you're going to put the trays or the tins into the air fryer and cook for 15 minutes at 160 degrees. My air fryer already has a setting set for this I just select the cake button and then it automatically goes to 160 degrees and luckily for me it also sets at 15 minutes as well but if you need to play around with that you can do so just now. Once the brownies are cooked, remove them from the air fryer and just take a skewer and place it in the middle of the brownies. If the skewer comes out clean, your brownies are cooked. If your skewer comes out with a lot of mixture on, you just need to pop it back into the air fryer for a further five minutes. I personally like to have a little bit of mixture on the end of my skewer. That just means that it's nice and fudgy and gooey inside, but it's all personal preference. Once your brownies are cooked, remove them from the air fryer and leave them on a cooling rack to cool down. Once the brownies are cooked, leave them to cool down and then portion to serve. And there we have it, air fry brownies that taste no different to normal brownies. Thank you for watching, let me know if you've given these air fryer brownies a go and let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe for more. Thank you!